this is Lisa with Queen Bee Creations and today I'm here to show you this really cute little treat holder. I've got a Tootsie Pop in there right now. You can also use Blow Pops. You know any kind of sucker that's going to have a little stick that comes out. These would be great for giving away at the office or you know just maybe your hairdresser, mailman, any of those people that you want to give a little something to but you don't want to go broke on. Um, this might be a great little gift idea. Maybe some special kids in the neighborhood you're trying to get their mom enticed um, to come over and stamp with you. Just a cute project. Anyway, um, what we start out with is a piece of cardstock that's two inches by eight inches. I have scored this at three and a quarter and 4.75. Basically that just means three and a quarter from each end. So if it's easier for you to measure that way, that's fine. I'm gonna be using our scallop tag topper punch it just you just slide it right in and then we're gonna punch out those little pieces that gives us the end at the top that we're gonna have to stick our ribbon through and then I've got the large oval and a couple of the leaves out of our build a bird punch um, I've done the pumpkin in pumpkin pie um, I'm going to use a little bit of pumpkin pie ink and a sponge dauber just to give the edges some texture. It gives it a little more depth. You don't have to, it just, I like the look of it. Just a quick little flick around all the edges. Then I'm going to kind of layer them up. I'm going to set two of them kind of side by side like that. And then I'm going to put adhesive on this other piece and center it right in the middle. Then and put a little more adhesive. And I like the leaves to just kind of poke out around the front. Um, they don't have to. Um, but I'm just kind of placing them so it looks like it's sitting in a pumpkin patch. And then it sets on front of the other piece. And then I thought it needs a stem, and I didn't really have a punch that was going to do that well. So I just took my paper snips and just kind of cut a piece. I didn't want it exactly square, you know, because things don't grow exactly square. But um, you get the idea. Maybe I'll take a glue dot. I'm going to shove that underneath. So it's coming out the top. And there you have it. There's our little pumpkin. And then I'm going to put the sucker in the middle. And at this point you could either um, put glue dots, adhesive, you know, kind of whatever you wanted here. I wanted an extra little bit of security because um, I might get messed with a lot. So I'm going to use our Stampin' Up! stapler. This does little miniature staples that are smaller than, you know, your standard stapler from, your, from the office. Um, and they also have these cute little staples that you can color with the blendabilities. Now I'm not going to do that here, but we could take the pumpkin pie marker and color these before I punched them. And then they'd totally match. Then... I have a piece of our eighth inch um, gold ribbon and I'm just going to feed that from the back on either side of the stick so that I can tie a bow on the front. bows always take a little bit of playing with. Anyway, 
you mess with it enough, we have a pretty little bow on the front and then you just trim up the edges. And there you have it. There's your little treat holder. I hope you enjoy. Make sure you stop by my store and check it out. All the projects that I have on there and stop by my blog at queenbeecreations.net. I'd love to see you over there. Bye.